guys or um, friendly um, cookers <laughs> anyway I am going to make an Italian or as Italian as I can get it here uh, type of risotto here in the Oliver and so if you want to follow here we go so I have some uh, ground pork which uh, well I mixed it with some uh, ground beef a little bit of ground beef um, grass-fed and uh, what else is in the ground pork and a little bit of uh, uh, turkey meat but mostly is ground pork so uh, I've got a little bit of oil in this pan and uh, some rosemary and uh, probably I uh, will put a little bit of butter okay I think that's a little that, that's a lot of meat it doesn't have to be quite that, uh, that much for two people but that's how my packaging was so I'm just gonna yeah exactly so I'm gonna turn it on Okay, so I had already put some ground rosemary in there. I have ground rosemary, but most often it's just either fresh rosemary. When I'm home, I just put fresh rosemary, or uh, um, they sell rosemary in pieces, you know, it's been uh, cut up. But this is ground, this particular one, uh, particular one is ground. And uh, salt and pepper, I have to add. So salt and pepper yes actually you also want to have some ground cinnamon for this rice so we had the uh, meat cooking. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter with the meat. It's not really, I mean it tastes better with butter. I know it's not very good but for us, but it really does taste better. So a little bit of butter and extra virgin olive oil and rosemary, don't forget that. Alright, and now I'm going to put, um, for the amount of rice that I'm going to cook, which is in grams, 310 grams um, for us, I'm going to put uh, three and a half cups of uh, chicken broth, organic chicken broth. That's basically all of it. I'm just going to put it on. Ooh, that smells good. This is a typical um, northern Italian type of rice um, uh, from Verona and uh, it's a um, typical rice of that area which really should be cooked with a specific type of rice that it's called uh, Vialona Nano 
and of course I cannot find in the United States. So the next best thing to it is the arboreal. So I use arboreal rice for it. And uh, it's not quite the same, but like I said, it's as close as it's gonna be. <laughs> you have to make some compromises when you're so far away from home. So, but it's very good. Um, I like it and George likes it, don't you babe? I love it. It's really awesome. To me. Okay. This has been cooking for a while and it's gonna be cooking some more while the rice cooks also. The broth is uh, boiling and I'm gonna put in the rice. Stir it. I have my cinnamon ready. I'm also gonna get my, okay, let's set the timer for uh, 15 minutes. It's arboreal. Hey Siri. So, okay, the rice is now cooked and I'm gonna add uh, meat. Some butter. Dang. This, um, I thought it was bigger. Okay. A little bit of cinnamon. Oh my god, it's, you gotta, oh my god. <laughs> I never used this one, guys. Can you please, uh, Open it. Ooh, I don't have time for this right now. I didn't think about it. Oh, okay, not too bad. Okay. Okay, you don't want to go over or too much. You want to taste it, but subtly. Okay. And cheese. Ah, oh, my fresh is not even gonna fit. Ooh, it is off. Okay. Is so. Let's eat. This is the finished product. Ooh, it looks good and it smells great. <laughs> and we love leftovers, by the way. Yes. I know George is gonna eat two bowls. No, probably one. He's usually in a bottomless pit. <laughs> so, bon appetit. The test, the taste test, guys. Mmm. Oh, damn, honey. That is awesome. Woo! My.